Hello, everyone. I've been doing some sort of street photography, always. I'm capturing people and life in between. I was doing it in a pretty normal way for a while. In normal, I mean you capture a distinctive fraction of uh, the space in a single moment, which is a magic. Photography is a magical thing. But I was interested in the continuity. I wanted to depict on one image that the whole thing is happening to us. Therefore, at some point, I started to work with uh, devices and uh, methods that they didn't develop for, for photographers. I was capturing images like this for about two years, two, three years, uh, back in 2006, uh, with a camera, this lead scan camera that I built from uh, scanner components. Uh, I took the sensor uh, from a cheap desktop scanner, it's behind the regular uh, camera lens. And instead of moving the sensor over documents and making the digital ink copies, the camera is stationary and capturing everything which is passing by. It only captures a single line of pixels, which is so little information, it's so incomprehensible, it would be hard to define as an image, but if you render these samples next to each other, you receive a still photograph. There's nothing new about this. They, they use the same technique in the photo finish cameras since uh, the 1930s at uh, horse races and Olympic Games, recording the finish line. So I traveled to big cities. This is, for instance, uh, Times Square, New York City. And I found those spots where I could capture this never-ending flow of uh, human beings. On these images, the horizontal X is, is not about space. It's about what happened in front of the camera. It just captures movement. So that side is not left or right. That side happened earlier and this side happened later. This is a bus stop, for instance, uh, Hong Kong. And uh, if you look at it, you can see that uh, everyone is heading to the same direction. That's because there's no left and right, it's just early and later, so basically these people are actually walking uh, backwards in time. So we look like we are marching together on these images toward the same uh, destination, or a destiny that we all share. Like little particles in a system. This is a big tree, by the way. In, it's also in Hong Kong. The back part is the the, the, the dark part is the trunk of the, the tree, and the the, the light part is uh, are the leaves moved by the reeds. This is Oxford Street Christmas shopping in London. New York City again. Then I started scanning trains. Uh, not because of the trains, I'm not a train spotter. Um, but one summer in uh, New York, I realized that, that uh, right before the train arrives, people are ready to get off and they pose really nicely in the doors. Um, I bought a line scan camera that they use in industry for quality checking. And I put a system around it, so I could use it as a device for my purpose. And you can see how fast the whole thing is happening. Um, unfortunately, um, quite soon I had to learn that uh, they are not um, entirely sympathetic to people who make such performances on, on, a, on, a, on a subway platform. This is captured by a photographer who I met before, and he just uh, accidentally passed by the police booth while I was waiting for my interrogation. Um, I got a $25 penalty, which was a very good deal. Um, but as I didn't have the uh, courage to ask them whether I could pay it every day and keep working, I had to figure out something else. So I put the whole thing together in my backpack. I made an iPhone application to control the camera, and then I kept working like this which is, uh, I don't actually think that it looks uh, significantly less suspicious, but... 
for some reason, I never had any problem with security <laughs> things anymore. And I, so since then, I keep using the same method um, with my ongoing works as well. To some of the results, this is from Tokyo. I really like the Tokyo subway system. And these are just so um, silent and intact portraits of, uh, of, uh, of such a noisy and, and fast-moving subject. And the camera captures so much details. I really, um, I'm really interested in working in these situations because people spend significant time uh, with uh, with uh, commuting, spend hours with it, but it's pretty unprocessed because we saw it so many times. There's nothing to to process about it. And uh, um, therefore, these, these situations remain forgotten, just uh, slip off our memories. You barely remember at the end of the day that you were commuting and spent like hours on a, on a, on a train. And uh, as I'm, I'm intending to, to, to capture being, and these, these situations are really eventless, kind of only the pure existence remain. This image was captured in Paris. And this is another one from, from New York. And the last couple of years I, I've been working with videos, because I wanted to emphasize that, that the whole thing is, is happening to us. And, and see, between the, see between the seconds, and to show how much life is remain unprocessed around us. So I'm, I'm working with this industrial uh, high-speed uh, video camera that is made for science and for quality checking, and for crash tests and these kind of things. And, and uh, I had to customize it for myself a bit. And I traveled to, to different locations in, uh, uh, and, 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 and capturing commuters uh, waiting for the train. So you saw, saw the first video that I captured uh, that happened in uh, Berlin. And now I'm going to show you the last one that I captured in uh, Mumbai, in India. But first I just would like to show you the, how, how these two seconds uh, sound that uh, is going to be extended to two minutes. So that's like two, two seconds of arriving of a train. And now you will see how it is if it's played in two minutes.
so many lives in just two seconds. And so now, neutral, natural moments. These are so. Finally, I just would like to share one more video of my uh, newest work. It's entitled Ray. Thank you for your time. That's what I wanted to share for you. Thank you.